the French, the Italians, and finally, Mexicans. All apparently agreeing to be the biggest weebs on the planet. Okay, Mexico I knew about, but France and Italy, that's new. When you Google why does Mexico love, the first autocomplete is Goku. <laughs> I don't know how true France and Italy are though, just doing a little bit of research about which country loves anime the most. I'm definitely not seeing those two, but I am seeing a lot of Latin American countries, that's for sure. No, we're not worried. Australians will simply pay for additional households. Meanwhile, 30 minutes later, all of Netflix going out of business because Australia is not willing to do that. Apparently a lot of Australia is not too happy with Netflix right now. Netflix expanded its crackdown on password sharing in Australia and more than 100 other countries alerting users that their accounts cannot be shared for free outside of their house. Wait, I didn't hear about this. Are they doing that to the US too? I guess I clearly have not been paying attention. The Nordic countries learning English and are quite good at it. Then there's the Romance languages countries that don't learn English and are terrible at it. Finally, there's Malta who learn English as an official language and are terrible at it. The tiny island of Malta despises English so much they're gonna learn it just so they can be bad at it specifically. They're doing it with intention. They know exactly the grammar mistakes they're making. They're doing it on purpose because they don't respect the language. <laughs> Swears in Greek. Okay. Look. Is alpha. Alpha. A. Don't say al alpha. <laughs> say alpha. 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 Vita, Beta. Gamma, gamma, Beta, Epsilon, Yota, come on to speak it, go to be part this of my fraternity, learn how to pronounce it like a real Greek, come on. Least Sorry. triggered Greek of all time. <laughs> I need to try to actually remember this though. Say Alpha. Alpha. Al how am I saying it? Al alpha? Alpha. I don't know. China tweeting out invasion plans for the island of Taiwan. I guess their plan is to take over all of this within at least one week. Oh, but wait a second. We actually have live footage of PLA landings on Taiwanese beaches. It's going to be something like a D-Day for sure, I guess. And now we have an anime depiction of the Taiwanese president saying, frick around, find out. As a cat girl, I think. I think she's a cat girl. This is literally where we are at this point. How Northern Italians look at Southern Italians. How Swiss Italians look at Northern Italians. How Swiss Germans look at Swiss Italians. It's just forever a vicious cycle. Of course, down below, we have how German Germans look at Swiss Germans. There's clearly some sort of, like, northern supremacy that is going on here. Maybe this is actually nothing new. Annoying Dutchies with clever insults. Nah, how about annoying Dutchies by calling their country Holland? Now, that is definitely way more triggering for them. Call them Swamp Germans. They're not even going to bat an eye. But call the entire nation of the Netherlands just... Holland and your entire family better watch out. Sing about pride and the affection for your country. Sing about patriotism, freedom, and independence. Sing about your king slash queen and his or her well-being. Have two national anthems. Redacted, redacted, unity, and freedom. Sing about a German guy fighting Spain. And then finally, there's Spain, which have no lyrics in their anthem, so people can come up with different meanings and lyrics to promote creativity. Oh, a uh, small side note here. I mean, let's be real. Singing about the pride and affection for your country, pretty boring. Everyone's doing that. I like the Danish strategy of just having two national anthems. We're not allowed to talk about some of Germany's national anthems. Average Spanish person's work day. Okay, we have one hour consecutive work. We then have siesta, then another one hour consecutive work. Oh, and then another siesta. You know, as a siesta enjoyer myself, I knew there's a reason why I like to visit Spain a lot. I guess you could say I'm something of a Spaniard myself. No, I think constant siestas have permanently ruined my sleep schedule. Never ask a woman her age, a man his salary, or a Filipino. What is the fourth largest island in the Philippines. Okay, I'm always so terrified to look this stuff up. I can already tell it's something that we probably don't want to find out. I guess it shouldn't be surprising that the Philippines have a Spanish name for a certain color here on this fourth island. I guess if you think about it, it's actually their fault after all. My Filipino grandfather who tried to have a secret second family with an Indian woman, seeing me, a Filipino American, take an Indian girl to prom by lying to her strict parents by saying I'm half Indian. Yeah, you know, he's definitely pretty proud of his grandson, that's for sure. I swear, why was it always so common? And for grandparents to just have secret second families. <laughs> I guess it was probably just a little bit easier to get away with it back then. What if Brogentina was real? It'd be the second largest country in the world, eighth largest economy, fifth most populated, they would literally be known as inflation inventors, and finally, the World Cup would be over. Yeah, if the countries of Brazil and Argentina just formed a union like this, there's no point even having the competition anymore. This is probably why the rivalry is so heated. It's actually just propagated by the world. They know if Brazil and Argentina did combine, they would just be way too powerful. Nepal now? Wow, pretty pathetic. 
versus Nepal in 1779. Yo! It is massive. How the mighty have truly fallen, I guess. If only we could go back to those good old days. Chad Hindi versus Virgin English. In English, the only correct order is did you hear that sound? You can't say you hear did that sound or hid you did sound that. However, in Hindi, it really doesn't matter the order. It all pretty much works, which is I guess why I need to start learning Hindi. Why does the order matter after all? I'm not sure about this, but I do feel like English is pretty strict about word order for some reason in sentences. Seems like there's a couple languages that don't really mind how Europeans see Americans. I've got to embrace the flag. I've got to sniff the flag. I've got to lick the flag. I got to wash the flag. I've got to date the flag. I have to be the flag. It really helps with the SpongeBob memes. I know exactly how to say each line. They're still all ingrained in my head. Only thing is I don't get the premise of this meme, how Europeans see Americans. This is actually Americans. This is what we have to do. I still remember taking out my first flag to the movies. Good times. Mexico watching the USA have the California gold rush after losing California less than five months before. I didn't even realize it was only a five month difference there. In February 1848, Mexico and the US signed a treaty ending the Mexican war. But when you Google when the California gold rush started, it actually started like six days before that back in January. Wait, how did we start the gold rush before we even had California? Wasn't the gold rush kind of pushed more than it should have been just because they were trying to get population to move out there? I'm sure that partly had something to do with it a little bit. Boom and UK firms fleeing to Germany to escape Brexit. Tories, Brexit will be good for the economy. Meanwhile, British firms, here we have them entering the wormhole saying adios and exiting saying guten tag. Okay, why would these Brits be saying adios though? Are they specifically from Gibraltar? That's like the only thing I can really think of here. Uh-oh, Poland ball spots two Russians. <laughs> Oh. Ah, dobra, dobra. <laughs> never, never mind. False alarm, false alarm. Completely did not realize in the country ball universe, uh, yeah, Slovakia and Slovenia look like Russians from the back. Those eye patches are very crucial. Poland just way too amped to start fighting Russians, that's for sure. Can't you stop fighting, asks America, for five minutes? I'm trying to focus on China. Yeah, the US has been focused on this continent for centuries now. They're trying to turn their attention elsewhere. Fortunately, Russia and Ukraine's not letting that happen. Here's Russia's leader, Putin, proving that Ukraine is actually his territory by using an old map. Oh, but wait a second, two can play at that game. And by game, I mean, uh, board game. And I think they released this back all the way in the 1970s. Uh, the board game Risk has always claimed Russia shouldn't exist. Oh wait, even later than that, 1957. Wait, Risk is French? This literally changes everything. Romania and Hungary were never a part of the Balkan countries. Social media made you think that. Okay, I've always been confused about where the exact border really is. I mean, this is claiming half of all of Slovenia, Croatia, and Serbia aren't even Balkan. It's a little bit complicated because it seems like each map defines it a little bit differently. And we also have to remember there's a difference between geographically Balkan and then more importantly, honorary Balkan. Ooh, new Instagram post from Spain. Spain's dream come true. European sleeper plans direct sleeper train to Barcelona with beds and all. This actually looks really nice. I wonder how expensive this would be though. That's the problem. About time we had siesta trains. French ban on short haul flights comes into effect in push for climate friendly train travel. Private jet flights are also banned, right? Uh, uh, right? Come on now, this was obvious. Of course they're not. Okay, wait, the problem with this is those short haul flights were super cheap. Way cheaper than those trains. I don't know why they're so expensive. I love how different the US and Europe are. The European trains are literally so good, they force you to use them. Meanwhile, the trains are so bad in the USA that we're literally forced to fly. They just recently announced there's gonna be high speed rail going from LA to Las Vegas. So since they just announced it here in 2023, we only have to wait 20 years before it actually gets released. That'd be crazy if they finally got that. Ooh, look, we have Turkey and Greece getting a little bit too cuddly. Meanwhile, here's Pakistan in the background crying. Turkey's always been Pakistan's senpai. Greece better watch her back now. Dictator fans, when the dictator guy beats the non-dictator guy in an election with dictator-led media in a dictatorship country. <laughs> How could this happen? Literally makes no sense at all. Yo guys, look at our super original flags, unlike those dang Nordic countries. Man oh man, are those things original? They sure did show Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland. Imagine just changing around the colors and slight design of your flags between different nations. That's crazy. The rest of Europe could never be caught dead doing something like that. Man, you gotta love these tricolors, right? Some of them even have coat of arms on them. Such an 
original use of colors as well. We have like uh, blue, white, red, blue, white, red, blue, white, red. So good. You're right. Maybe we should use our old design. Oh, no. All right. No, not not you, Germany. Germany tried to be original. That is true. But uh, the rest of Europe didn't like that. Berlin bus seats versus Belgian camouflage. Uh, what is Belgian trying to do here? I think we might have just accidentally leaked some of their plans. Be on the lookout for Belgians in Berlin bus seats. That's for sure. Map of all the countries where the opposition leader called out the prime minister by using Fortnite slur. Wait. Fortnite slur. I don't know what he called him, but did he do the gritty afterwards? I guess this is the word he used, which basically means noob or new player. We're basically at the level where all world leaders are just gonna be calling each other cringe, and I'm totally here for it. Yo guys, fun fact, all the cities in Half-Life were inspired by Poland. Oh, I thought they looked pretty familiar. Man, this really goes to show how countries were able to invade Poland, but not be able to keep Poland for a very long time. That's why they always managed to find ways to get their independence back. And big thanks to my patrons. I am the kid now. And I've moved Drew to a Patagonian um, village. Is real. Drew I'm not a paid actor. The grandpa. slow, depressing Portugal class. Color blind. Carl S. Reagan's amateur archaeologist. Jack Schrader. I've almost managed to escape the imposter. Robert Pye. Kelly Knows. Best girl. The great Polish. Why is it real, Drew? Zany Boy. Twenty dollars.